Hey everybody, I'm Janine, and today I have some shoulder magic for you. This is great if you get tight up through the uh, chest, collarbones, shoulders, uh, the sitting at the computer, neck tightness down through the traps. Shoulder magic for you, shoulder, neck, and magic. So if you haven't already signed up for or subscribed for our YouTube channel, make sure to do that and click the bell so you get notified anytime we post a new video on here. And if you stick with me till the end, I'll tell you how you can get another freebie. All right, so to get started today, we're gonna to start cross-legged. You can put either leg in front. You can use the edges of your feet to push down and pull a little bit so that you can come up onto the sit bones. If your knees are up a little bit higher, that's fine. You can bring the hands on the insides or you can bring the hands on the outsides to help you sit up nice and tall. So we'll start with an inhale where we give a little pull on the hands and start to bring our spine up nice and tall and draw our shoulders away from the ears. And then as you exhale, tuck your tailbone, and I'll turn slightly so you can see this. Tuck your tailbone and round back. I'm letting my arms straighten so I can just kind of hang back and rock through my ribs. And then inhale, I'll pull with my feet, pull with the hands a little bit. Now we start to draw those shoulders down and back. We can even reach our face up. And exhale, push with your feet away from what's in front of you. Tuck your tailbone and round back again on your exhale. Doing a little rock, just keep breathing here. Again, breathing in, pull with the feet, pull with your hands, start to rise up, lift the face, almost like you have a plunger pulling your face up rather than just dropping your head back. So really lifting up through the spine, keep the breath flowing, and then pushing with the feet, tucking the tailbone, belly button falls back, ribs fall back. We keep breathing as we gently rock a little side to side. Inhale pulls us all the way up to the top. And as we exhale, we'll just slide forward. So you're thinking this isn't really feeling my shoulders. I just want to warm up your hips and back a little bit before we sit here for a few moments. So rocking the ribs, breathing. We'll drag our hands back as we breathe in and roll ourselves up. Whatever leg you have in front, we're going to switch to the other leg. Give a little pull. And same thing, hands slip forwards and hanging over the legs. If you don't hang so far, you might be a little bit like this. That's okay, hang to where you can. You can still take nice, full, deep breaths and rock the ribs around lightly. And then we'll drag our hands back on an inhale and start to roll ourselves up. This time as we take a breath and we'll inhale our arms out to the sides and halfway up. I'm gonna mirror you so you'll be bringing your right arm underneath your left and trapping it. That's version one. Version two, both sets of fingers point up. Version three, your right hand will grab onto your left thumb. Or if you have that, your right hand can grab onto your left wrist. Any version that I just showed will be fine. Now we'll gently press our top elbow into our bottom elbow and draw our shoulders down away from our ears. And just breathing lightly. As you breathe in, top elbow presses into bottom elbow, bottom elbow presses into top elbow. As you exhale, shoulders draw down the back. And keep doing that, pressing gently top into bottom, bottom into top. It doesn't have to be 100% of your effort, just till you feel the muscles engage, and then drawing those shoulders down the back. We'll gently take a breath in and tip our head off to the right. And as you exhale, dip your chin towards that right shoulder. Inhale brings your head to the top. Exhale, tip your head the other way. And bring the head all the way up. Elbows will fall towards the breastbone. The arms release, they unfurl, sweep out to the sides. We take a big reach up. And exhale, arms reach out to the side. This time we sweep our left arm under our right arm, version one. Again, I'm your mirror, so you can just follow me. Version two, all the fingers point up. Version three, grab onto that right thumb. Or version four, grab onto the right wrist. Then we press bottom elbow into top elbow, top elbow into bottom elbow. Almost like you're making a lock. And then as we exhale, we're gonna try and pull those shoulders down and they might be getting pulled up or one might be higher than the other, that's okay. Just see if you can start to squeeze those shoulder blades together and down against that. And then most importantly, keep on breathing. 
So breathing in, top elbow into bottom, bottom into top. As you exhale, shoulders draw together and down away from the ears. And we take our next exhale, we tip our head to the left. You might feel a nice stretch through your neck and that's where you wanna keep the pressure of the elbows. Tip your chin towards that left shoulder. Bring the head back up to the top. Tip the head the other way. Keep breathing, keep that pressure between the elbows. And then bring the head to center. Elbows fall towards the breastbone. Arms sweep out to the sides, all the way up. We take a nice reach up, and now we're gonna take our right fingertips, and I'll show this from the back, and reach them towards the space between the shoulder blades. So your right fingertips between the shoulder blades, left hand grabs the right elbow. Again, I'm near mirror, so you can just follow me. I'm gonna push my elbow, my right elbow, out to the right a little bit, so I'm not just jamming it in. Push it out to the right and then try and pick it up. So I'm using my left hand to lift up tall. As I exhale, I'm gonna lean off to the left just a little bit and get a nice big stretch through there. Now your elbows might be a little bit more forward, that's okay. You can just keep pressing your head into the arm and then working on that opening. And then on the next exhale, we'll release that left hand to the floor and reach that right arm out. Now my bottom elbow can bend a little bit. Make sure your hand is up at your hip or in front of it. Sometimes you guys like to reach back. So bring it a little forward, it'll help out. And take a nice big side stretch. Inhale, we sweep that arm out. We'll bring it across our body, up to the ceiling and open it back up. And we'll take that one more time, across our body, up to the ceiling and open it up. And we'll go the other way. Left arm comes up, fingertips between the shoulder blades, right hand comes around. Again, if it's forward, it's okay. Just press your head back. Push your elbow out to the left a little. So you're not just jamming into the joint, right? Into the ligaments. We wanna make space, always trying to make space. And then we try and pull with our feet and sit up tall. And as we exhale, we lean off to the right. Nice big breaths. If you're comfortable, you can turn your head to look up to that top arm. If that doesn't work, you can look towards the bottom. You can keep the focus straight ahead. Just choose one. And on your next exhale, we'll let that right arm come to the floor a little in front of the hip. Left arm does a big reach and you may be able to bend your bottom elbow a little bit and go a little further into that side stretch. And we inhale up to the top. Arm falls out, then let's just sweep it across the body. Make a big circle. Sweep it across the body. Make a big circle. Bring that hand down. We're gonna unwind our legs, place our feet on the floor. And I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see this. My hands are gonna come behind me, fingers pointing forwards or slightly turned out. So not backwards. Forward or slightly turned out. Push down through your hands and scoot your booty forwards towards your heels. Now you're gonna probably start to feel a stretch across the front of the shoulders here. We call this a shoulder release. What you don't wanna do is let your elbows drift way back behind your wrists. So we wanna bring our booty towards our heels so that our elbows eventually pretty much stack over our wrists and our shoulders are gonna roll gently forwards. Nice wide palms on the mat. We gently rock a little and I can push with my right hand to lean to my left shoulder and my left hand to lean with my right shoulder. Now, if you have a shoulder injury or shoulders that are sensitive, just make sure to move really slow. Honor the edges there, meaning if it doesn't feel comfortable, back off a little bit. You can back off by scooching your butt back. If you feel like you can handle more of an opening, you move your booty forwards. And we'll take just a couple more breaths here. You can let your chin fall to your throat and rock around as you rock side to side. Again, nice big breaths, trying to tuck that tailbone under, and then we'll push down through our hands. If you have to come out early, that's fine. Just take a break. We're gonna slide our rear end back or pick it up if you're not on a slidey surface like I am. Take the hands to the shoulders, circle right elbow up and back, and left elbow up and back, right elbow up and back. And breathing in the left elbow, and we'll take that one more time. Right elbow up and back, left elbow up and back. 
Then we'll take both arms, we'll recross our legs, or a comfortable position for you. We're gonna sweep our arms all the way back and interlace our fingers. Then squeeze your shoulders towards one another, and I'm gonna squeeze my elbows back like I'm whole, trying to squeeze a beach ball back there. Now, some of you will be able to get your hands to come together, but you don't wanna bring your hands together if your shoulders roll forward. So we wanna squeeze those back. So these are great if you sit at your computer a lot, and all of us tend to be rounded forwards, driving, traveling, sitting at our computers, slouching on the couch. So this will really counteract that. And along with opening the muscles across our front of our shoulders, it's also gonna open our chest. Your fist can start to reach towards the floor, so my knuckles are coming down. I keep squeezing my shoulders together and I try and press my breastbone and reach my face to the ceiling. Take nice big breaths. You can wiggle up through one cheekbone then the other. And then as you exhale, chin comes in. We release those arms. We take a few nice shoulder circles forward, up and back. Make sure to keep breathing, reverse that circle, go the other way. Take your hands to your shoulders, we'll do a double, both arms in the same direction. So before it was like we were swimming backstroke and now we just keep bringing them forward. And we're gonna let them go and we're gonna go the other way, back to front. So we're just loosening everything up. New range of motion maybe from when we started. Now take your hands to your shoulders and swing your elbows backwards. How big can you make this circle without going any to any places that feel a little bit stuck or restricted? So just make that circle that works for you. Unfurl the arms, inhale those arms, raise up tall, and exhale, we let those shoulders fall, the arms fall, and you are ready and have had your shoulder magic for today. I hope that helped. Like I said, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell so that you get notified when we post a new video on here and have a great day. We'll see you soon.